Um, for Girard, this is the very foundation of civilization. Without mimetic uh, acquisition, mimetic desire, there would be no there would be no civilization, no society to speak of. But it causes a serious problem because when you desire what other people desire, you then enter into conflict with them because if there's, there's three elements here, there's me, there's you, and there's what you desire, what you have. Um, I start to desire what you desire. Like maybe it's we both, you're attracted to somebody and although I don't realize it, I start to get attracted to them purely because you're attracted to them. So I am taking on your desire. And now we both desire the same person and we are in rivalry. And so with mimetic desire inherent to it is an originary violence. It, it, it causes conflict and antagonism. Over time, every society will erupt in a type of mimetic rivalry um, because you're desiring what the other person desires and they're desiring what you desire. Now, the question is, what, what do you desire in the product? Uh, and this happens, like, by the way, you can think of, there's so many examples of this. When you're going out with somebody, you often take on their desires. If they're interested in movies, certain movies, you might start to take an interest in that. Uh, if they're interested in philosophy or if they're interested in uh, outdoor activities, what happens is very gradually you start to take an interest. But you don't realize that it's because of them. You start to think that you just naturally desire that. So your desire feels like it's yours. Um, and you know, not like it's been bestowed upon you by other people. And that's why the conflict arises. Like, no, this is my desire. It's not a desire that you have given me. So this is continually occurring. Um, and eventually we will enter into conflict because of it.